Matter can change in different ways. When we play with modeling clay, for example, we can transform it into different shapes by pushing, pulling, or twisting. We can also roll it back into its original shape. This is a reversible change. Heat can also change matter. When we add heat to ice, it melts and becomes water. This is called melting. If we cool the water, it changes back into solid ice. This is called freezing. Melting and freezing are reversible changes. But some changes are irreversible. When we cook a raw egg, it changes from liquid to solid. Even if it cools down, it won't become a raw egg again. Cutting a piece of paper is also irreversible. Once it's cut, we can't turn the pieces back into a whole paper. Burning is another irreversible change. When we burn a piece of paper, it turns into ash, which can't be turned back into paper. Rusting is also irreversible. When iron reacts with water and oxygen, it rusts. Rust can't be transformed back into iron. Chemical reactions can cause irreversible changes too. When vinegar and baking soda react, they create carbon dioxide gas, which can't be turned back into vinegar and baking soda. Remember, some changes are reversible, like shaping clay or melting and freezing water. But others, like cooking an egg, cutting paper, burning, rusting or chemical reactions, are irreversible. Don't forget to subscribe!